So help me stay focused and motivated is just having support from family, friends that were really pushing me and motivating me to do better. And I also think you need to push yourself and believe in yourself and not give up because failure isn't the end of the world. It just gives you that fuel to keep going and moving forward. And you will reach that goal and it'll feel so much better because you didn't give up. Uh, like I said, my story was I passed in 2008. I don't know, I graduated in 2008. And I try at least, well, I look, I look at my NCS history. I try at least eight to 10 times before I pass. So it's not when you're gonna, when um, you're not gonna pass, it's when you're gonna pass and what are you willing to do to pass it? And, and if you follow what Kenza is, is, uh, is suggesting and her tips and her, her, her uh, Zoom call and everything like that, and the students in there provide the information that you require for you to pass, absolutely you will pass. And, and if I can do it, anyone can do it. Absolutely, I mean, I, I can't believe I, that I, I did. But the thing is that I know I, I was going to pass because I was willing to put in the hours and the time into it. it maybe someone's more talented than you, else more smart than you. But the thing is that if the person is not willing to put in the effort, the time, nothing gonna, nothing gonna give you that kind of uh, acceleration. I would like to say uh, everyone, like my fellow students and friends, uh, first and foremost thing is don't give up. Make it for, make the first uh, a tentative uh, like a systematic schedule, and uh, believe in yourself. Like don't uh, don't try to give up for the things which you are not able to do. So just make a uh, make a different schedule than the you did before, and try to do as much as practice you can with the practice exams or the material you have. So for example, I have the Kansas course. I did as much as practice as I can and I did the practice exams and that's all. So I don't have any books. I don't have anything else. So only thing is just, just keep only like some material with you. Don't go through like all the materials and just work hard with the whatever you have and don't worry about the result. Just believe in yourself and stay humble and be kind with yourself then you are definitely you are going to pass your exam for sure we've all graduated we know we can do it we know we can learn it and so with wherever we are in pursuing this goal we know we can do it it's just a matter of being persistent and sticking with it a hundred percent understanding versus practice and repetition is really different. And I think that was one of the um, oh, one of the ideas that I had to also kind of adjust myself to. I'm one of those individuals that just like many others that we wanna be confident in knowing something 100%. And that's a part of being a good engineer. And so all of us that are taking this class wanna be good engineers. Um, but also to understanding your limitations and that's why engineers work as teams. <laughs> so in a study environment and then obviously in a working environment that's why we work collectively with others because one individual really doesn't carry all of the knowledge and experience we all depend on each other really making sure you understand the concepts and the topics that you're that you're studying um i know a lot of times you might feel like you're not like you want to get a, as much time as possible, but I really think that understanding the concepts is the most important thing. So if I have to choose one tip uh, to follow, I would like do as many as questions that I, as I could. Um, I think that was the biggest thing for me. I start to exercise a lot and do over, I don't know, 200, 300, I don't know how many. And I got to a point that I started to feel confident where I could find the formulas, where, where they were asking, what was that question about it? So my mind started to open up for the test once I started to do hundreds of questions. So I think that was the biggest, the biggest thing for me, the biggest key to pass an exam. Whenever you feel like uh, you do not want to study today, do not study. But in, 
instead of just sitting back and doing nothing just keep uh, uh, summarizing or you know kind of recalling what you studied before you don't need to study but if let's say you studied yesterday just kind of try to summarize that thing so if you are not it will help you that okay at this point i forgot this or i missed this so if you're not studying today but tomorrow when you start studying that will click in your in your mind first that okay i have to focus on this point first and from that you can start and that will help you summarizing and you know writing problems in the exam just be consistent if you can have a, a study buddy um have class i think that helps a lot in um hearing the story would would be helpful on the journey and i'm sure that everybody would nail it i guess the biggest thing right now you're struggling or you know you're tired you're burnt out um I would say that's your body, your your mind is telling you to take a break and, and kind of take a day, take two days off and just kind of relax and, and separate yourself. Because I think you carry this weight, the stress of the test, the exam, um, all the emotions. And it's like, hey, it's OK. You know, there was times I'd study and it's like, hey, I'm just not studying today because I know it's it's pointless. I'm not going to learn anything. I'm not my mind's not in it. So sometimes you just got to draw back and just kind of take a take a pause and then just get back in it and you'll almost be refreshed and start studying again and, and you'll conquer it. The good thing for about passing the FE is that uh, one, it definitely boosts your confidence. Let's say if somebody fails like nine times, 10 times, it doesn't matter. One time if he passes it, he, he thinks he now he believes that, okay, it's just one time that you do it, that's all that matters because no one, he remembers about your failures, right? And then because you pass it, now you have that knowledge fresh in your head and you have, you know, full confidence of steam. You can go ahead and, you know, really try passing that PE. And most likely you'll pass it if you, you know, take it right away. And that's also is my story of my life. That's what I did. And, you know, I was, I took the best course and I had full confidence that I'm going to do it. And I did it and I took P right away and passed it because of the knowledge and the material I learned while taking that FE. So it's definitely worth it. Definitely. It's not, not only gives you a career boost, but it also learn, uh, you know, tells you how to, uh, you know, pass the obstacles, learn from your failure, learn from your mistakes. It, you know, it's actually give you, you know, um, you get a, you, you become a better engineer in short while doing that? Number one thing I would say is just my self-respect on myself that I was, I had the ability to do it and to finish it. And next is that now, whenever, uh, obviously you know, now since I have my EIT, I'm looking through, I'm looking for other jobs. And I feel much more confident now that it, yes, it always says, whenever you look for jobs, it says desired EIT. Now I could say, yes, I have my EIT. <laughs> oh, you can definitely do it. You have, you have what it, everybody has what it takes to do it. Okay. Absolutely. You got, you, absolutely. You guys can do it. <laughs> Don't ever feel like you can't do it. You guys went through four years of school. You can, you guys can definitely do it.